Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about good UI design. So by the end of this video, you're going to have some tips on how to create beautiful professional looking websites. Now, before I continue, if you'd like to design websites using Divi, I have an affiliate link in the video description below. If you buy Divi using my link, I will give you access to the web design formula. So the principles I'll be uh, talking about in today's video are also going to be in this course in great depth. So I'll also be teaching you how to use Divi as well. So it's a complete course on how to design professional looking websites. So let's start with principle number one. So the very first thing is white space. Now, a lot of people think that when you design, the more stuff you put on the page, the better it is. But in actual fact, this is the opposite because you want to have as little information as possible so that your content stands out. Now, this is very important because remember, in design, it's all about communicate, not decorate. So you need to make sure that your content is easy to read. Now, I've, I have a few examples here that I'm going to share with you. So let's take a look at our first example here. So here we have active campaign. So when we take a look at this page, the eye just goes directly to this heading. And this is, of course, what the designer intends. He wants us to read this title. So this is the very first thing. And as we flow down on this page, your eye then goes to this subheading. And then finally here to enter your email address to start the free trial. So these are the things that I'm talking about. When, uh, when you design your landing pages, it's all about communication. It's not about decoration. So this page, I'm sure you can agree with me, is very clean, very simple. Now, what we have here on the sides is what is known as white space. Now, I have a lot of examples to show you throughout this, but let's go ahead now and scroll down. Again, here you can see that the content is very easy on the eye, very easy to read. And as we scroll down, you notice also that we have consistency. Now, where we have these headings, we see that we have the same color and the same size and the same font. So as you can see, we don't have multiple fonts on this page. And as we scroll down here again, if you take a look at these testimonials, very easy. The design is very clean, very simple. Now, as we continue, here are the call to actions. Again, the call to action is right there. Very easy to see, very easy to, um, to notice as you're scrolling through this page. And as we go ahead, you can start seeing all these uh, designs here. Again, a very simple design, very simple structure on this page. And when we go all the way down, now these are blurbs. I mean, you can achieve this by using blurbs in Divi. And as we go down here, again, the headings are all the same. And finally, we have our footer. And again, the footer is pretty much very, very basic. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example here. Now, this is Skype. And again, we have a lot of white space. We can see the image here and then all the information that we need here and the call to action. Very simple to you, very simple to view. And over here as well, every time we have these uh, headings, they are all the same size. And the call to action is very easy to see. And it's very subtle. And again, here you can see there's a lot of white space. All our content is very easy to see. So the space around all our content is making it easy for us to see. And again, here, this could be a blurb that could be a, that we could use here from uh, Divi. And then we have this basic footer right there at the bottom. Right, let's take a look at uh, one more example. And again, here we have a beautiful heading and a big call to action button. And again, it's communicating the message. Now over here, we can see we have a lot of white space and our content here is actually sectioned in such a way that it is very, very easy to see. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the actual fonts. Now, as we take a look at this page, you'll notice that the maximum number of fonts is probably gonna be two, but in most cases, it's gonna be the font weights that's gonna differentiate the fonts on the pages. So as you can see here, this is bold. And then this one here is, I would say semi-bold. And as we go through here, you can see that is consistent throughout. We don't have an addition of another font on this page. And this just makes, makes it easy for the user when they come to your website to read and consume your content. So as you can see here, very, very easy. So fonts are also very important in UI design. Make sure you keep to one font, but using different 
font weight. So that's very, very important. And also, if you do need to use two fonts, use a different font from your for your headline for your headings, and then your paragraph text should have pretty much the same font throughout the whole website. Now, when you use Divi, you can also assign this in your templates. So the templates makes it easy for you to actually do this. You can assign all these headings and the, uh, the, the font types, and this will be applied pretty much across your whole page. And I teach this also in the web design formula where I create a style guide. Okay, so moving on. All right, so let's take a look at uh, the Apple website. And again here, when you take a look at the fonts, Again, it's the different font weights. And here, when we look at the products, they don't have background colors and anything that's competing with the actual product. Now, this is a good, I, uh, this is a good way of showcasing your products because your focus now becomes on the product itself rather than all the fancy designs around it. And again, if we take a look at this section, same thing. Very little text, nice call to action, and, and then the product. Same, same applies here. So as you can see, this type of design where you have white space and also your fonts are consistent is an easy way of having a consistent design. Now, when we take a also look at this, we notice that in UI design, color also plays an important role. And as you can see, these headings and the text is all gray but the call to action buttons are blue. So it's very easy to notice as you're scrolling on this page. And again, there we go. We have our call to actions there, all our links. And this is pretty much throughout the whole website. Now over here, we have this uh, Canon website. In fact, you know what? I have a tutorial lined up where I'm going to show you how to achieve this uh, hero area here in Divi and also using Photoshop. So as you can see, again, same thing. We have our colors here. We don't have too many colors on this design. Again, we have this gray and we have our call to action button here. And when we scroll down, I'm expecting to see the same color button. So yes, and right here, we see the color is there as well for our call to actions. And our font colors are pretty much, again, the same throughout. And there's another call to action button. And when you take a look at this section here, you may be thinking, well, it's Canon. They should have all these fancy designs and animations and all of that. You notice that it's clean. It's very simple. So simplicity here is key in designing professional looking websites. So as you can see here, there's no animation at all, you know, but I'm not saying you shouldn't use animations, but you should use them to aid uh, the user or to allow the interaction to be much easier for the user. All right. So Let's take a look at uh, another one here. So again, this one here is from uh, Dribble, And I think this is a great design. Now, the reason why I chose this is because we have a different uh, font here for the headings compared to the paragraph. So you can see this font here is throughout the headings. But when it comes to the actual uh, or the other information, we have this consistent font here. There we go, same thing over here. So this is only being used on the headings. And again, here on the footer, the footer is nice, it's clean, it looks very, very uh, easy to, uh, to work with, and it's very easy to read. So this is an example of using two fonts on a website. Just use it for the headers, and that's it. And the rest should be consistent throughout the whole website. So these are the sort of things that, uh, I cover, as I mentioned in the uh, course, Web Design Formula, I go into depth and I show you how to choose the colors, how to put everything together. Now, let's take a look at this uh, final page. Now, this one here is very, very interesting. The photography here really makes things stand out. And again, I, I forgot to mention this. When it also comes to UI design, photography is very important because if you don't have great photography, it's going to really make your design look very unprofessional. So if you can't take pictures, I would say go and use relative free images, but I would highly recommend that you do this yourself. I mean, there are now cameras that are now cheap to, um, to purchase, which you can use to take pictures. So if you're a freelance designer and uh, you approach a company and you go in, take time out to take pictures of their products, this is going to enhance your value that you bring to the table. And it's easy for you now to charge you know, decent amounts of money towards your projects because you're doing everything all in one.
So let's take a look at this. Now, this just looking at that, in fact, you know what? This is making me feel hungry <laughs> just by looking at this. But this is very, very attractive. And if you look here, the button is very easy to spot. And when we go through here, look at that. Very easy, simple to use layout. And the use of white space here is amazing. So this is also another example of using two uh, fonts. So discover here. And... Um, is going to be the, uh, the the differentiator here, but everything else is the same. So you also notice that our story and the paragraph text also uses the different font weights, but it's the same font. Now, moving along, again, you can see that consistency. The, um, this font here is pretty much above the menus. And again, look at that you know, dark gray background and the way the plates and the food really stands out on this background. The contrast really, really works. So as you're designing your website, this is what you need to be looking at. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, very easy on the eye. So as you're designing your websites, you need to uh, step away from this idea of designing as uh, complicated websites as you can, because that's not actually the point. The point is to actually communicate as you're designing your website. So you want visitors to your site to find information easier, to click where there is call to actions. So the journey throughout your page is supposed to be, you know, very straightforward. So taking stuff out of your page is going to make your, your page, your, your, your web pages look even much better. It's very easy to put stuff on the page and, but it's more difficult to leave the, imp uh, the information that is important on the page and still communicate the message. So this is all I have for you in today's video. Let me hear what you guys think about uh, design and um, maybe I might have left out a few things in this tutorial. So let me know what you guys think. I would like to hear your views in the video description below. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you get notified when I release new tutorials. See you in the next video.